Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Above the video you will see a subscribe button. If you click it and subscribe then you will be able to keep up with my tutorials. Also make sure that at the end of this video you leave a like. And if you really like the video then leave a favorite. Alright, enjoy the video. Oh hello my lovely viewers. So for some time now you have been asking me to do a tutorial on the, how I made my, uh, my desktop like this. How I added these items here, these widgets. Uh, these icons and uh, how I changed a bunch of things that are going on around here and um, You guys were like assuming that I had w Windows 8 or uh, That I have some super awesome thing that no one has but in reality there are just a combo of softwares that uh, help you personalize your desktop how you want to so what have I used so far so first of all, for the widgets on um, that are on desktop, I have this software called Rain Meter. Let me just go to the website. Uh, it's a desktop customization tool, and uh, you can just download it and install it. I will post every single link that I will mention uh, in uh, this video in the description. So just click there and download uh, the themes that I will show you and uh, Rain Meter, etc. But yeah, this is a um, a desktop customization tool. Raymeter displays customizable skins like memory and battery, RSS feeds, and weather forecasts right on your desktop, etc. And uh, it works amazingly. I have, as you can see, I, I'm a very informative person. Um, I like to have my news here. I have GameSpot, IGN, Kotaku, OneUp, and uh, they just all appear here when I need them. I have Lifehacker, MSNBC, CNN, and Reddit that I uh, always get my news from. Um, then I have a big ass clock because I don't like this little one here. Um, and in case I forget what day it is, I have the uh, day uh, indicator here and the weather, obviously. And then I have some of my favorite webs some of my favorite websites here. And uh, a bunch of uh, Windows 8 like icons, um, you know, the squares like in Windows 8 with uh, some application and also the uh, recycle bin. God damn it, I have 16.9 gigabyte of stuff in my recycle bin. I have to clean it. Um, and this thing here, as I mentioned before, you've probably seen it in previous videos, it's uh, called a Launch Control 1.6. And uh, I'm going to actually give it in the description if you want to. And here I have all my applications, everything that I use mostly, you know, um, like the games, the softwares, the locations that I have, like downloads and images and YouTube and uh, GFX things here. Uh, you can also add links, I think. Mm, not sure, but okay. Another thing I used are visual styles. And uh, let me just show you. I'm going to right click and then go to property, to desktop properties. And uh, here, let me just maximize this. I have a ton of Windows 7 themes, and this is just what the visual styles are. They are special themes that change everything um, around your desktop. They change the icons here, and uh, they change, um, I don't know, <laughs> uh, the colors, and uh, probably this bar here, the clock, they can make it sometimes bigger. The bar, the, the bottom bar is actually, uh, can be changed to be solid, to be uh, white, to be, I don't know, striped, you know, depends on the theme that you're using. And it just looks amazing. I'm going to show you a few examples uh, in a bit. And uh, you can download all these visual styles on uh, DeviantArt. Let me just click on this one, which is apparently the most popular. It's called Elune. And if I just zoom in, you can see that uh, there are a few changes like the back and forth button, uh, the backwards and forward button, the the loading bars, the the um, the windows are changed, and uh, the clock here. It just looks amazing, and um, they are just really cool to use. And I really like this placebo one, which actually makes your uh, desktop all darkish with a dark interface. It kind of reminds me of um, a Photoshop. And check this out, it also has, it has this option here to make your uh, uh, X and maximize and minimize uh, icons into dots. And uh, it just looks really cool. I really like this one. Um, I'm just going to close this one. And I'm going to show you what you need to download in order to have an awesome desktop. So the first thing that you will have to do is to go here and uh, download Raymeter. 
the final the final version because the beta may be unstable and then you can go here to, to uh, discover and uh, you have uh, three themes that um, that you can download uh, for your uh, array meter and these are actually some of the best themes uh, that uh, could come they are very informative like to me they seem really awesome you have this enigma one which is really awesome you have uh, the top story google news processes notes uh, the bars you have top bar you have bottom bar you have a doc you have everything that you would need and then there's uh, ABP and it looks fantastic you have the uh, the weather here and the clock and news and it's just awesome um, but the place that you can download the best themes is actually on DeviantArt so let me just click on rain meter here I'm going to post a link to this in the description too and um, popular all time and apparently this one is the most popular but I'm going to show you what which are my favorites and which I think that you should use Ooh, this actually looks pretty cool with this dark bluish interface blue vision version 0.2 alpha okay <laughs> sounds like a Street Fighter game um, okay so if you're interested in what I use um, I'm gonna show you right now so I, ha I have this uh, Omnimo or, or Omnimo I, I don't know how you pronounce that 5.0 and as you can see these are the icons uh, Windows 8 like icons that I use and uh, it looks pretty cool you have the, some internet apps there and uh, it looks fantastic and you can just go here download it and install it to Raymeter uh, you may get a zip you may get you may get a uh, Raymeter install file uh, it doesn't matter you can just uh, read the instructions and see how to actually install it. Usually if it's a skin, it's a, if, if the um, Radiometer skin file, you can just uh, double click it and launch it like a normal application. And then the next thing I use are the uh, text items for uh, Omnimo, which are uh, the date, the, the big ass text, um, and uh, the date and the time, and the websites here, and some RSS feeds, um, Twitter feed, yeah, you even have that here. Uh, the notes if you want to end some applications, but uh, I like these ones most for the application the squares, you know um, and next uh, another theme that's also awesome um, I'm gonna show you a, a few elements right now um, and a few themes that you should download and Personalize with your rain meter and this one minimal typography is really awesome because it has all the um, things that you need here all the information that you need about your computer, um, the, the song that you are listening to, the mail, the RAM, and uh, the internet, the uh, upload and download, the time, etc. And uh, here's one of my favorite, absolute favorite, Rainmeter skin. It's called Organic 2.0, and it's just amazing. You can customize these uh, hexagons and just put them so that you make your own shapes, you know, and let me just show you an example like someone used it here um, cast a clock here and here is the organic with the, with the C drive the CPU the core Google Chrome the recycle bin RAM and it's just amazing you have to try this one and with a nice nature background and organic oh god that's gonna look awesome next we have gray matter uh, from uh, this person called fake the way and this is a really slick interface I really like the colors they are dark and uh, kind of eerie, uh, but you have all the information that you need here. You, um, you have the CPU, the power, the calendar, uh, clock, um, the music that you're playing, internet, audio, downloads, uh, the disks, the, the download speed, everything, and it looks really cool if you're looking for something minimalistic and uh, that also looks really awesome. Uh, next, you have lines, and uh, this can be awesome if you're trying to be creative, like here how Here's how someone on DeviantArt used them. They, he used it to go along the atmosphere of the Earth, which is, um, I, I think it's really creative. And it looks perfectly, perfectly, perfectly symmetrical. Uh, I mean, it's going right along the curve, which is awesome. Well done. Um, the, next, we have the alpha bar, which is a really, really useful top bar or bottom bar. You can just put it wherever you want. And you can add these tiny icons to it and like with the, with the um, recycle bin and uh, the CPU, as always, very informative. The moon, the moon phase, which is awesome. I love moon phases. Um, and uh, next we have the simplistic clock. I really love this. 
uh, you can just put it it's it's small you know and you just put it there in the corner but it's bigger than your clock and you can just uh, you know take a wink and um, just to look at it and next we have this uh, elegance 2 theme uh, which I love because it has big ass text I love big text on my radiometer theme as you can see right here Saturday blah 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 the, the forecast the titles here are all big text applications I love them um, about the visual styles if you're trying to change your um, Windows 7 interface let me just change this for example the one that I have right now uh, I'm going to change the theme to let's see base dark taskbar Calibri um, and let's see what's gonna change so look at my taskbar now at the bottom it's a one dark line and oh look the maximize and minimize button are hidden right now so I can just hover over and then they just slightly fade in and uh, the background is changed but obviously you can change that back the start icon here look at the start menu it's fantastic it looks just fantastic um, computer the, the um, the loading bars here are changed. There, my top bar now is black, which I find it really cool. And uh, yeah, this is an awesome theme. Um, what else? Uh, let's try snow. Hmm. Why not? Let's try snow. Uh, let me see. I don't remember what this one is. I think the bar is white. Yes. Let's see. Yep. It's white. And the icons here also change on top, and it looks really cool. Uh, which one did I have before? Did I have before? Huh. I think I had base transparent taskbar calibri. You get uh, various um, various themes, various variations of one theme, and you can just switch to it to see um, what you're going to uh, get. So um, let's see what else do we have. Mm there are a bunch of themes here but really I can just tell you to experiment and I'm not going to tell you which one to use because it's all about preference um, about the installing method of these uh, visual styles it's uh, mm, a bit sketchy you know but uh, it may be harmful sometimes like rarely uh, on how you install this because you need to patch um, a few files in the Windows system folder and then you can actually use uh, these themes. Let me see if I can actually find a uh, tutorial that explains this. Uh, installation, detailed install <laughs> okay, detailed instructions can be found in the readme file. And yes, every um, nearly every person that has this uh, rain meter, uh, th sorry, this v these visual style themes, they're going to include the file, the software that you need to install to patch your Windows files and um, detailed instructions you know so I'm not going to explain it but basically it's just a software that you launch and uh, three files they are, it's go they are going to be patched then you restart computer and then you can uh, install the themes and use them because apparently Windows is blocking the use of these themes and the changes you know uh, for some reason and uh, yeah so um, what else a thing that you need I think that you really need this is this uh, rain meter toggler so um, what does this do let me just go to my rain meter uh, panel here oh how do I apply yeah this one this one I forgot to tell you about this how do I use rain meter so um, let's say that you uh, have a, a bunch of teams downloaded and you want to add them to the desktop let me just hide uh, I have this this is the important thing that I was talking to you about. It's the uh, rain meter toggler, and what this does is show and hide the uh, the things that you have on the desktop with rain meter. And this is very useful because when you save a, a file or something, it appears right here on the desktop. If you're saving it on the desktop, obviously. And uh, but this with this tool, you can just show, hide, show, hide, and doesn't really. Um, affect anything the, the icons are still there the text is still there and um, okay let's try installing something um, let's try the uh, simplistic clock you click on it and then you have the any file and these are the things that you can load you can load on the desktop if I click load uh, where's the clock oh there it is and this icon here is draggable if you click on it um, you can actually drag it along 
Let me just uh, snap it. Come on. Let me just go on it. Oh, I if you have click through, it's going to click uh, through <laughs> with the text item, and you can. It's it's just like it's not there, but um, it 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 doesn't let you click it. Um, so let me just undo that and just can I drag it now? Yeah, and I can move it around, you know. And you can do that with uh, all the icons, the, the fucking weather. <laughs> let's install this one. Let's just lower it into a rain meter. Where is it? Huh. Doesn't show. Odd. Forecast. Does this one load? Oh, it's here. No, I'm just going to unload that. Um, Windows 8. Dock 1. Load. Oh, this is a dock. Oh, awesome. Can I move it? Oops, I just clicked something. <laughs> Google. Oops. Uh, draggable, click through, etc. You can play with it. This uh, WordPress 7, uh, this is mainly where I get all my stuff. Let me try, no, not background. Uh, text items, um, DeviantArt, and load. And oh, yeah, I have the newest signatures. I had this, um, this widget before, and it basically shows me all the newest forum signatures that appear on DeviantArt. And uh, it updates constantly, so uh, anytime that something is there, um, I mean, it updates every few or so minutes. You can um, you can set it up in uh, well the settings. <laughs> um, if you are trying to unload a skin really quick, then just right click on it, and then select uh, manage skin, and then unload skin, or right click and unload skin if you don't need it. Um, but I still have my uh, toggler here, so I just show you. I'm just going to show you my um, my previous theme. Let me just load my old background because I don't like this one that much. Uh, I have a folder for backgrounds here, uh, some wallpapers. Let me see um, this one. Why not? Come on, and I'm just going to put it as a background. There we go, and it looks great. I have all the news here. I have uh, the feeds, the weather, the websites, the links, um, the uh, shortcuts to all my games, so it's not messy, and all these applications here that I use mostly. And about the icons here, um, I just changed them. Like I, I made shortcuts of the uh, the uh, executable files, and I changed the icon with uh, some icons that I found online. How do I change the start icon though? Um, let me just drag in the files that you need. You need this Windows 7 start orb changer. Make sure you deactivate your antivirus before you install this because it's going to write stuff in the registry. And uh, if you have a Vera, for example, it's going to completely block it. So make sure you just disable it and add this one uh, to exceptions and then run it, run it as administrator. And this is the kind of icon that uh, you will have in the start panel. You have the start um, start icon, then the animation when you go over it, it's going to have this blue light, and then the end when you remove the mouse from uh, from the icon. So you just start the Windows 7 Orb Changer, and uh, as you can see, this is the one I have now. Then you can click on Change and load this um, animation orb. But I'm not going to do that now because I don't want to. Um, okay, so I hope I was clear in this tutorial on how I installed all these things. Just play with the themes that I'm going to give you. Just play around with the visual styles. Don't be afraid. Just install patch your files. Play around because it's really important for, as, as a graphic designer, it's really important to have a creative mind and a creative desktop. And with, with all your shortcuts that you need, uh, can be really useful if um, you know you don't have time to just click all around the websites and just load them. So that's it for the tutorial. You better like this video because I just made this exclusively because you guys are just always asking me for it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I just really hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, if you want to, just give it a like, a favorite. And uh, if you're new here, then make sure to subscribe. My name is Darius, and I will see you guys in a bit. Cheers.